My best friend is in a marriage of over 10 years and recently began cheating. I wouldn't be giving a crap if there weren't two kids in the mix. Should mention her husband is also a dope friend of mine. I'd say screw it, let them crash and burn on their own. But she has been telling me detail after detail of her affair up until she was starting a new one. And I told her outright that it was too many levels of wrong. I told her to cut these men off and go no contact. Of course she's not listening and is choosing to shut me out now. I know this is none of my business, but I feel guilty playing stupid. I see her husband often and have tried to tell him before. He shoved me away and started calling her immediately, which gave the heads up for her to delete all evidence. Do I keep playing stupid? Do I expose her again? Confront her again, even though it seems pointless? Should add their marriage has been falling apart little by little, and they've spoken of divorce already. I'm feeling like I should just stand back and watch it crumble, but please give blunt opinions. Navigating this complex situation requires careful consideration due to your close relationships with both your best friend and her husband. One, assess your intentions and boundaries. Before taking any action, examine your motives to ensure they're rooted in genuine concern for the well-being of the husband, wife, and children. Steer clear of acting out of frustration or anger. Respect boundaries, especially since you've already attempted to inform the husband and were met with resistance. Pushing too hard could strain your relationships and further complicate matters. Two, initiate a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Engage in an open conversation with your best friend to express your concerns without being judgmental or confrontational. Emphasize your worry for the family's stability and her children's welfare. Listen to her perspective, as there may be underlying issues within the marriage that you're unaware of. Offer your support, letting her know that you're there to help her find constructive solutions. Three, encourage constructive steps. Rather than exposing her or confronting her aggressively, encourage your friend to address the problems within her marriage honestly. Suggest seeking professional help, such as individual counseling or couples therapy, to work through the issues causing her to seek comfort outside the marriage. Promote open communication between her and her husband to tackle the challenges they're facing together. Four, prioritize well-being and self-care. Throughout this process, remember to prioritize your own well-being. It's emotionally taxing to be involved in such a situation. Set boundaries and distance yourself if needed. While your concern is commendable, acknowledge that your role is limited. Their decisions are ultimately theirs to make. Only in extreme cases, if you genuinely believe the children's safety is compromised, should involving authorities be considered as a last resort. In summary, approach the situation with empathy and consideration for all parties involved. Your aim should be to support and guide your best friend toward a more constructive path for herself, her marriage, and her family. If you told him and he didn't listen, you can either say CF, it, and move on or prove it with evidence, but he seems like the type to flip out on you, even if proved she's cheating on him exactly. I'm thinking to just leave it up to good old father time. Find proof, send it to him. Then walk away from the situation, have deaf gave this thought before. But considering she cheated with his friend, I'm afraid for their safety in general, especially considering the kids. My side of the proof has details like names. If he and her are just all round dopes, then the only sensible thing to do is monitor the situation closely for the sake and safety of the two children. If things get beyond messy, they could be the first casualties, figuratively speaking. Exactly. This is what constantly goes through my head. They're both well under 10 years of age and capable of understanding. I'm just sticking around to monitor the kids lately. Ask yourself this. Would you want to know if that was happening to you? But my opinion, yes, you should she not going to stop anytime soon. At least he, she move on from her. I was physically shoved away when I did. I don't know if it's the right way to go about it. ATP. Aside from giving him proof, you did what you could. Time to step back and watch the show on the sidelines. Tell him good luck. Let it be. Not your fight. Life's hard enough without getting into people's drama. It sucks you found out. Usually people that would admit it to someone so close to home want the drama to come out. And if you don't speak up, then it may come out that you knew and you'll lose the guy friend. It's the definition of a lose-lose situation. Duck. Knew this, but loathe it to be said out loud in my head like that. Damn. Stay in her lane on this one. You have already told him and he didn't want to hear it. I understand her concern for the kids. But what happens if you tell him again with evidence and he snaps? How are you going to feel if he does something to someone because of this? You will feel even worse, I'm sure. So just stay in her own lane. If you don't want to see the damage she's causing to her own family, then I suggest you just go the other way and find some new friends to hang out with. 100% agree. I'm opting to just leave it be. 
It has been one year since I found evidence of my wife having an affair on her phone. After confronting her, she finally admitted to it. From my knowledge, affair began end of 2018. Last confirmed physical contact of affair was in April of 2022. We have a six and a half year old daughter. I confirmed through a DNA test she is mine, thank God, and took an STI test that came back negative. I've been through just about every emotion over the past 12 months, and most recently, what I have been dealing with is thinking about those four years of her affair, all the time she was texting him while sitting next to me and our daughter on the couch, all the times of her traveling for work and not answering our daughter's FaceTime call to say goodnight because she was in bed with him, all the times I told her I loved her and she lied right back to me saying, love you too. All the plans and hopes I had to maybe have another child together and continue to grow our family and have a happy, loving marriage until we were old and gray. Truth is that around the 2018 to 2019 time frame, I had talked with her about feeling like she was ignoring me, distant and sort of removed from our family. Little did I know she was already gone. She was more committed to her work than to our family. And through that began her affair with her then boss at the time, who was also married with two kids. He was also 16 years older, closer to her dad's age than to her own age. I always had a suspicion that something was going on. I remember asking my wife if I need to worry about this boss of hers, and she emphatically said, no. Deep down, I think I knew. I just didn't want to deal with it and wanted to protect our daughter and our family. So she had her long affair, having says, sending inappropriate photos. He even tried to get her to come work at the company he moved to, and she just about did. Having my suspicions, one year ago, I opened her phone, somehow guessed her pass lock. And while she was drinking with friends in the backyard, I read through text between my wife and her AP. I took pictures of all the good ones with my phone for evidence. Since then, my world was shattered. But I have been working through the emotions and have done therapy, which helped. My only focus is on my daughter and being the best father I can be for her and giving her the best childhood I can give her. I'm happy most days because I do love my life. I just wish I had a partner who I could trust 100%. I could respect, and them respects me. I wish I had a partner who was as crazy about me as I was about them. A partner who shared the same values of loyalty, love, and commitment. Thank you for reading my rant. I feel better typing it all out. I'm truly sorry to hear about the pain you've endured due to your wife's affair. Your journey of reflection and growth over the past year has been commendable. Here's a more concise version of your situation focused on the idea of leaving the relationship. 1. Facing a painful reality. Discovering evidence of your wife's affair a year ago and confronting her about it has been an incredibly difficult experience. The affair spanned several years and included moments that deeply shook your trust, like her texting the other person while you and your daughter were right there. Revisiting those years of betrayal and deception has been a heavy burden. 2. Unveiling a disconnect. During the period when the affair began, you sensed your wife growing distant from the family. Unbeknownst to you, her disconnect led to an affair with her older, married boss. Your suspicions were confirmed when you discovered explicit communication and attempts to involve her in his new venture. The discovery shattered your world and highlighted the lack of trust and shared values in your relationship. 3. Navigating the path forward. Despite the pain, your focus on healing and being a devoted father to your daughter is admirable. Your commitment to her well-being is a testament to your character. However, the absence of trust and mutual respect in your relationship remains a significant concern. The longing for a partner who reciprocates your values and commitment is completely valid. 4. Prioritizing your well-being. As you contemplate the next step, remember that you deserve happiness and a fulfilling life. Considering your daughter's needs is vital, your own emotional health matters too. It's essential to assess whether rebuilding trust and respect is a feasible path and whether your wife is genuinely committed to changing the dynamics. Seeking professional guidance can provide you with valuable insights as you navigate this complex decision. Ultimately, the decision to leave a relationship is a deeply personal one that should prioritize your emotional well-being and the kind of future you want for yourself and your daughter. Your strength and resilience throughout this journey will undoubtedly guide you toward the best course of action. I just wish I had a partner who I could trust 100%, I could respect, and them respect me. I wish I had a partner who was as crazy about me as I was about them. A partner who shared the same values of loyalty, love, and commitment. Thank you for reading my rant. I feel better typing it all out. This is why I tell a betrayed to leave. 
you'll lose all the chances of getting that partner you love being with if you stay with your wife. It's been a year, and the bad feelings you have never go away, and the good feelings you're missing never come back. You'll just stay stuck until how you feel becomes the new normal. If your daughter gets older and falls into a relationship like yours, where 100% happiness is no longer an option, what would be your advice? She had a full-fledged relationship, not an affair. I can't imagine the level of deceit and lies to maintain it hidden for four years. There are similar stories to yours. For many BP, it was like waking from the Matrix. They had to question all their memories. Remember OP, the memories and the commitment from your side was real. And it is all that counts. I just wish I had a partner who I could trust 100%. I could respect. If you choose to try and stay together, then you have to accept the fact that 100% trust and unconditionally respect isn't ever going to happen again. Worldwide comments of the day. Drop this girl like a sack of potatoes. Nice guys always get cheated on. Good men when cheated on always walk away. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and relatable Reddit videos.